Welcome to the Balls and Boys YouTube channel. Fortunately, we have a injury. Um, injury that occurred yes. due to a friendly game of Ultimate Frisbee. And I kicked ass in. I did. Truly did. <laughs> it was he, really he, he three tried to on go, two. but I tried I to go for the layout dive, but... Yeah, my, my uh, wrist got rolled underneath it, yep. but you know, that's life. Champions League draw did occur on Thursday, and we are happy to report that the groups are absolutely intriguing. There's they some... are very interesting. Very A interesting. lot of um, either very competitive groups... Or you, you the groups of life, go. butterflies, you, Butterf unicorns, <laughs> chocolate. I mean that that's, and then you got the group of death, where you feel like every game is going to be an absolute eye stabbing. Yeah, um, but uh, Eric, let me ask you before we even get into the group stages, is is the Champions League the most prestigious tournament as far as club as football? As far comes? as club football, I say. It still is because that's where the best clubs in the world compete. Um, of course, the Champions League will never compare to something like the World Cup or oh no, anything of that standard. But Champions League, I think those are. It's one of the games where you have to watch the final. It's like the Super Bowl, but you have to watch the final every time. Yeah, no, I mean they moved it back. They moved it to a Saturday. It's only going to increase in the audience. I mean, if Barcelona or Real Madrid are in the final, I mean it would be an absolutely insane which yeah. poses... it could also be insane if another team who hasn't been you know there yet reaches that stage yeah no the champions league is definitely important i think every player wants to play in it but it does limit winners it feels like yeah i was going to ask the question of you know is the champions league a you know you can argue three four man race oh it is it absolutely is i mean we can go through the groups which we'll break down here in a moment you feel like the the Champions League, at least in recent history, has been dominated by three clubs. They're all from Spain, La Liga, and it's Barcelona, Real Madrid, and Atletico. Oh, wait, 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 scratch that. Bayern Munich, you throw on top of that. Yeah, you can throw Bayern Munich in there. Throw it Bayern Munich. But other than that, you feel like it's the same It's the same three clubs that tend to make it to the semifinals. Semifinals. And there's always that one odd club, Dortmund, Juventus, Juventus. City last season. Oh, okay, you're talking about the semis. Yeah, the yeah, semis, the yes, the semis. Yeah. So you get that sense, but, I mean, let's look at Group A. PSG, Arsenal, and FC Basel with Logaret, who is the odd man out of that the group. odd man out. But let me tell you, Arsenal, my Arsenal, better watch out for my Basel, because Basel has historically done well against the Premier League clubs, going back to Man United, Liverpool, Chelsea, and Tottenham. Wow, my team is also in that group. So, oh, so Steven I, is having a little ten dollar ten dollar bet right now that Arsenal will not get out of this group. Ten dollar bet right here. Okay, right here. We have a ten dollar bet. Basel right? will make it out. I don't All care right. what you think. Basel have that. Basel reputation. do have their reputation. A good team. You know, interesting players on that team as well. What about Arsenal? What, I mean. To, what is Arsene Wenger? Should should he worry about the Champions League or should he worry about the Premier League? I mean, the Premier League has started absolutely mm. a disaster. I mean, it's like a tornado has ripped right through Emirates Stadium. I think it's better if Arsenal focus on one of the two competitions. I think they, they can't focus do both. On, they can't do both because Wenger does not make enough signings. No. no, he doesn't make enough signings to compete in both competitions. If he wants to do that, he has to sign another. Let's say six, seven. Did you see more the players. Aaron Ramsey's haircut meme yeah. where he has two lines going down and it's with a defender, Premier League hopes in May. They all go they all point to the direction of they're not gonna win it. But with a new defender, which Mustafi is linked now, it looks like Sevilla. The former Evertonian. Yes. Looks like he's actually gonna go. They signed a striker, which one month ago Arsenal deemed not worthy enough, so it looks like they're in panic Lucas mode. Lucas Vasquez. Or no not Lucas, Lucas Perez. Yes. Yeah. Um he scored 18 goals for Deportivo de yeah, Corona. Yeah. Corona. Corona. There's my Spanish right there. There you but, go. Yeah, we yeah. live in Texas and we don't know much Spanish. <laughs> but uh PSG Paris. They, um, there's midfield is stacked. What was that? Thunder. Oh, it's thundering. Uh, That's Texas weather for you. Yes. PSG is stacked. My Tweedy looks like he's going to stay not going to Juve. Because oh, no 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 wrong wrong Hamas is gonna stay at Real Madrid. My Tweety looks like he's going to Juve. 
And I hope that does not happen. Oh, Juve's midfield. We'll, we'll talk about Juve and their group. Uh, PSG, though, Eric, is there pressure f- on them? I mean, this group is too easy. They'll get out of it. We know that. But uh, I don't know how far they'll get in the competition. No Slata. No... Um, I say, say they'll make it to the quarterfinals because the midfield, Krikoriak, Mata, Verratti, Pastore, yeah, Matuidi yeah. if he stays. Cavani will be in, Cavani his, in his natural be, position. Yep. So yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll just have to see. Well, we'll have to see, but uh, watch out, Arsenal for Basel. Oh, Shaka brothers playing each other again. You had the Europe, uh, the European Championships, and now Champions League. Interesting. Group B: Benfica, Napoli, Dino, Kiev, and Beskas. Yeah, Besiktas. Besiskas. I think that's how you pronounce uh, it. I'm, I might be wrong, just correcting him, and I'm wrong. He anyways. just wants to correct me. Yeah, exactly. Group of but, life, it looks like Napoli though, losing but players left and right. All those four clubs. Could get out. Could get out of it, yes. It's another group of life. We're... All right, moving on to the group of death. Barcelona, Manchester City, Borussia Mönchengladbach, and Celtic, where Celtic get crushed. Their dream is done. Champions League seems to be... Well, in history, Celtic have actually played pretty well against Barcelona. Yeah, they had the uh, the monumental win a couple seasons ago. I think it was like an 18-year-old scores. Yeah, late. something like that. I know Frazier, Frazier Forster... The goalkeeper for Southampton. Yeah. He was he was a keeper That's for Celtic at the, the time. The Celtic, wherever they play, what's the stadium that the Celtic play in? Do you know the name of it? I forget. I forgot the Crazy name. Crazy atmosphere. It's a, it's it's an absolute party. Man, Celtic and Rangers. Yes. Those two so stars. That's guys. a game that you have to go. The old firm. The old army. firm, yeah. Uh, Bruce Munchen, Glockba, Eric, Lost, Granit, Shaka. I don't know much. I feel like they are going to be... Somewhat they're of a be, Europa League team that you might pay attention yeah, to. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit weakened because of that. Yeah. Manchester City, uh, with Pep Guardiola, will go back to Barcelona. Interesting how that matchup will be. I want to see how Pep actually, you know, does. Well, he the, didn't do anything with Bayern Munich against Barcelona. Exactly. So. So. And Barcelona, do they have the well, team? They, well, Bravo is at City Oh, now. that is weird now. Bravo and Bravo City. does well against Messi. He does. Yes. He does. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. That's actually really intriguing. That's a group of death. Group D, Bayern Munich, Atletico, PSV, PSV. and newcomers from the Russian league. Rostov. Rostov. Um, that's in another interesting group, I think. Yeah, Atletico could win this Atletico, group. They did well against Bayern. Bayern. PS, PSV, also another great team. And this guy told me last year that PSV should have beat Atletico in the... Well, um, what I'm saying is that, that you, you gave them no chance at all, and I gave them a chance. and they But Atletico made it to the final, so PSV I mean, I would have been knocked out of, next stage. Off of um, PKs in that yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That went to Atletico, PKs. Though. All right, for Group E, um, Mosca, Leverkusen, Tottenham, and Monaco. So this is a very competitive group. Tottenham must be licking the chops. They can finally get out of the group and do something. Well, we'll see. English Premier League teams should be happy because I feel like every club will make it. This will be the first time in forever that every club will get out of the group. Because traditionally, there's always been a club that flops. Then you got Arsenal. You, you know they're going to get out of the group stage, but lose to Barcelona or Bayern Munich in round 16, happened five straight seasons. And then there's one club, Chelsea, who go on to about the quarterfinals, semifinals if they're lucky. And that's it. That's this the Premier League in the Champions League. Well, the Premier and League could change that. Have always been a little bit underwhelming. Yes. In the in the Champions League in recent times. Right. Is, we're not talking about, you know, the days of Sir Alex Ferguson where but, Man United were like a scary team. So, Monaco back. Monaco is back. Um they signed Kamil Gluck, the Polish center back, so that might that might change something up, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you never know cuz they have a very talented and watch out for Leverkusen side. with Chicharito. Chicharito. Very, they, they, very good player. Yes, very good. And best Mexican player of the generation. I would say so, too. I would, I would say so, yeah. too. And we're not Mexican, so honestly, I don't know much about Mexican <laughs> we football. Do, I do have a lot of Mexican friends. A lot so. of Mexican friends, yes. All right. But in Group F, we do have Real Madrid, Dortmund, Sporting, and Ligia. That's I two think clubs. it's Warsaw from um, Poland. Yes. So. Dortmund. Um, interesting to see what they do. They have a squad uh, with Royce and Mario Götze. Another very young, talented squad. Yes. Dembele. They could go far. They could yeah. go far. That that could be a dark horse to go far in the Champions League. 
I would hope so too. Because... Yes, we need the change. Please be the change. Group G. Group G. Leicester, Porto, Club Brugge of Belgium, and Copenhagen from Denmark. From Denmark. This is this is the group of unicorns, flowers, <laughs> chocolate, you name it. That is where Leicester City is in. Like you don't th- you, you they won the league. They won the Premier League, and it, you would think that's it. That's now that they could get to the round of sixteen in the Champions League. They basically league. gave themselves a good group by finishing. Well, the yeah, Champions. because they, they were the top they were seed. T- so they were in pot A, so... They didn't get screwed like other clubs who traditionally like Arsenal by sitting always finishing fourth. But look, Leicester City, Leicester City reap what they sow. They could get far. And who knows what happens in the round 16 in the draw. If you get a good draw like Juve a couple seasons ago, next thing you know, you're in the finals. And, uh, and Porto have a very strong club. Uh, they destroyed Roma. <laughs> they just they did. There was there was two red cards. I know, but that was like that there was were a three slaughter. red cards total for Roma. Slaughter. You see Tati's face on the sidelines. He's just he's about done too. Yeah. Roma is just I don't know what's going on at Roma. Final right, group group H: Juventus, Sevilla, Lyon, and Dinamo Zagreb of Croatia. Um, another very I think it's more. A little bit competitive. Yeah. You know, Juventus are probably going to, you know, be the group group. Oh, uh, yeah. But, I mean, Sevilla have always a strong group, uh, team. Lyon, we never know. I mean, it's a French side. The French side. They did do well always... about a decade ago. French clubs get into the, the quarterfinals. Think yeah. Marseille. And... Yeah, Lyon used to be a very, very good team. Like, yeah. And this... They won, like, seven straight um, league on titles, I think. Yeah. They something did. like that. So. And then Dimeo Zagreb. They, those clubs always... They they, they that, seem to slide through. They just I mean they hit a big club and that's it. But well, I have to say, Dinamo Zagreb they create some pretty good players. Oh, they do. Yeah. I mean the Basel academy. too. The, I mean a lot of these clubs. A lot are of the these, Champions yeah, a lot leagues. of these you know Champion League teams from smaller countries are the ones who produce. feed and produce you know those Big those well. players. Yeah, and that's the Champions League. Pause the screen for the Europa League if you want to see all the groups for that. Because we're really not, not talking talk about, about that. that. That is too many teams and too much going on. Yep. Uh, Eric, final question. Who's winning the Champions League? It's way too early to say, but what? it's going to be one of the three. Barcelona, Real. It's Juve's time. John Luigi Buffon will get his Champions League trophy. Let's see if it happens. Subscribe, like, comment. Let us know what you think. Are the groups as fair as you think? Is the Champions League a fraud to begin with? Yep. And um, we'll see you guys with another show in a couple of days. Not weeks, days. Bye, guys. Bye. Ciao.